Hello again, Bison Nation. It's game day preview time at second ranked North Dakota State. Great to be back home, but it gets tougher each and every game. 10th ranked Western Illinois coming to town. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen here with you. The Leathernecks 5 and 1, 2 and 1 in the Valley, and Jorgie, they've been very, very good. 4 and 0 on the road. Offensively talented players. Quarterback Sean McGuire, running back Steve McShane, and their wide receiver Jalen Acklin, one of the best in all of college football. Well, I think McShane's healthy now, which helps them. I think they're really balanced on offense. That's what really scares you about these guys, and they're pretty experienced. Lots of juniors and seniors. They have a good plan. They're physical, well coached. Here's Stanley Jones, Robbie Grimsley on the challenge this weekend. They've put some good numbers in the passing attack so far this season, and that's how they've really been hurting teams. And they have actually had to come from behind a few times, and uh, their passing attack's getting the job done. So it's really going to be big on us as a defense to to maintain that, and hopefully our offense can put up enough points to keep us ahead. But we just gotta we gotta shut them down. Watching film, they do a bit of both. I mean, kind of like us and. I think it helps me out because we go up against our offense and, and they're a good challenge. On the defensive side of the football for Western Illinois, a veteran group, 10 starters returning on that side. Bit of a scheme change, Georgie, new defensive coordinator. They went to the 3-4 to try and shake some things up and get to the quarterback. You know, I think the element of surprise is helping them here. Uh, they've been a 4-3 for so long. I think uh, you switch it over like that and, and teams were so prepared for the old 4-3. Now they have to prepare for something else. And Brett Taylor, a leader, uh, hometown kid, playing very well. Yep. Here's Easton Stick and Bruce Anderson on the Western Illinois defense this weekend. Really veteran group. Uh, a lot of familiar faces from a year ago and guys that have played a ton of football. Um, do a lot of different things on defense, uh, lining up in different spots and, and different pressures and coverages. And so uh, we'll have our hands full as far as communicating and make sure we're on the same page. As running backs, we got to keep the ball high and tight, no fumbles. And as a quarterback, we can't throw interceptions. And for the defense, you know, they got to create turnovers. And that's where it's going to, I think, come down to it, you know. If we can hold on to the ball and we can force their hand with turnovers. So a massive game in the Valley, Western Illinois, North Dakota State, and so many ways to capture all the action this weekend. Yeah, NBC North Dakota will produce the game, provide it to the entire state, and then ESPN3 and also ESPN College Extra. Again, we have the nice trifecta there. Yeah, great to get uh, back on track with uh, the TV mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. after uh, last week to some degree. On the radio side, of course, you got a statewide in northwestern Minnesota and in the Twin Cities on the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network. Pre-game coverage at 2 p.m. Central Time. Coverage starts at 11 a.m. Central locally here in Fargo-Moorhead with the Bison Tailgate Show on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM. And if you want more Bison Sports Talk with Jeremy and I, tune into the Insiders weekdays from 11 until 1, 11 a to 1 p. Central Time on Bison 1660, 92.7 FM, and on the Bison 1660 app as well. He's Jeremy, I'm Jeff. Big thanks to Rich Grossman. This has been our game day preview of Western Illinois right here on GoBison.com.